Hi, this is Chad, founder of ConformToJesus.com, where the mission and goal is to share the gospel, the good news that God saves sinners to the entire world. In today's daily devotional, we're going to read from Isaiah chapter 40, and it's entitled, Ready, Set, Wait on the Lord. Isaiah writes, But they who waited on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk, and they will not grow faint. We live in a fast-paced culture. Society tells us that we need to exercise more, we need to do more, we need to study harder, work overtime, and we keep ourselves busy to become successful, right? To be successful in the game of life. It's all about ready, set, go, do more, accomplish more, focus more, become more. But what if the Lord would rather us wait instead of go? What if God was telling us to slow down and meditate on the provisions he has in store for us? And this is what Isaiah the prophet was declaring when he said that those who wait for the Lord, they shall renew their strength. So how is it that waiting on the Lord renews our strength? Because as creatures, as humans created in the image of God, we are not meant to constantly strive and achieve for the greatest. It leads to covetousness. It leads to being burnt out and have a self-centered mindset. Instead, the, what the Lord wants is for us to wait on Him because He is sovereign, we are not. God is more than able to accomplish what we cannot complete. So when we wait on Him, we are declaring our weakness, we are declaring our contingency, our dependency upon the necessary, all-powerful Creator of the universe. And I think it's fair to admit that most of us struggle with waiting. I cannot tell you, right, how many times I have been honked by a car behind me when I didn't go immediately when the light turned green. Or how about waiting for someone to respond to your text message, right? For me, I know I have a bad habit of looking at my phone every five minutes until the person responds or replies back to me. Waiting on God is key component. It is a key instrument to our spiritual growth. In Romans chapter 12, verse 12, the Apostle Paul makes this clear. He says, rejoice in hope. Be patient in trials. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. See that word constancy, to be constant in prayer. And as Christians, we will face trials of many kinds. And waiting for God to, to see us through these difficulties are, are vital. They're vital for our spiritual development. For example, in seminary, there were many students who they wanted to begin their pastoral career right away. And even though they had spent a couple of years learning scripture, serving in the local church, and studying to show themselves approved, rightly dividing the word of God according to 2 Timothy 2.15, most of them, however, they were still not ready to lead an entire congregation, to minister, to pastor an entire flock of God. And think about this. It took Moses 40 years in the wilderness for God to see his theology straight. Jesus, the incarnate God, who was full of perfect wisdom and knowledge, could have started his ministry when he was really young. However, he waited. He waited for the Father's perfect timing at the ripe age of 30 to lead others to faith in God for just three short years. If Jesus was patient and if Jesus was humble, how much more should we as mortal men wait for God's the king of the universe, Adonai's perfect timing. Now remember in Acts chapter 1 verse 6 when the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Notice the emphasis of at this time. The disciples were planning on God's timing to be immediate. They were anticipating it to happen right away. And now, more than 2,000 years later, we are still waiting. We are still waiting eagerly for God to restore the full kingdom of God here on the earth. For this fulfills what the psalmist declared. He says, For in your sight, a thousand years are but a day for that passes or watch of the night. Chapter, psalm chapter 90, verse 4. 
So therefore, it's vital that we remain patient, that we not grow weary, and we continue to allow the Holy Spirit to give us strength, to give us vitality, to give us all the power that we need for success in this life. And the prophet Isaiah said, when he was waiting for the Lord our strength, he says that we will be renewed. And so as we allow God to fill our hearts, to fill our minds and our souls, believers will run and they will not grow weary. Christians will walk and they will not faint. And see, this is because they're not relying on their own abilities. They're not relying on a self-centered timeline. Rather, they have submitted to the everlasting God of this universe to, to tell them, to dictate both when and how to accomplish the will of God. Therefore, let us do our best to deny ourselves, to bear our own cross and conform more each day into the image of God. Praise be to the eternal King. Thank you so much for listening to today's daily devotional. Ready, set, wait for the Lord. Blessings to you.